I'm Luke Melke, and here we are trying to make a community of filmmakers. Changing the world your story at a time is what we like to say. And we want your involvement to help us make films and your comments, things like that. But if you want to make a film yourself, what are the bare essentials of what you need to make a film? And that's what we're going to go over today. What is the bare minimum of what I bring every time I need to make a film? Time for some B-roll. That's right, all you need is a smartphone. With the technology we have today, it's amazing. They have amazing cameras, way better than the cameras that I first got. And I really started really not that long ago. And the editing power they have in these, the processing power is incredible what you can do in these things. And more than likely, you have one of these, and if you don't, you have a friend who has one. And if you don't have any friends, I can't help you out much with that, other than you should probably get out a little bit more and get some friends. So the basics of all you need is a camera and a brain and an editing software. I'm gonna leave below some of the links and stuff that I use for the apps. So maybe you don't wanna actually do the editing on here, maybe you want something with a little bit bigger screen, you still wanna use your computer, but you can still record with this and sync your files with something like Dropbox or OneDrive or something like that. You can take recordings here, upload them, put them onto your computer through the cloud, or you can even connect it through the USB or the lightning port, depending on your phone, into your computer, offload the footage, and you're ready to roll. Yes, there are a few tips and tricks that you could look at with cell phones. There's a bunch of videos on how to do tips and tricks with your phones to make them better cameras and things like that. But really the biggest thing comes down to is you need to make sure you have lighting. That's the big thing. As long as you have light, you're gonna be able to shoot a film. The more light, with some limitations, the better. The other thing you're gonna have an issue with though with something like this is audio. So you wanna make sure anything that has sound, whether it's someone talking or any other environmental sounds you want, you want to make sure it's close to the camera. That way you can pick up the sound from the built-in microphone and not sound really bad because the further away something gets, just physics and that makes the sound not as good the further away you go. Make sure whatever audio you're trying to record is close to the microphone and the camera. That'll give you a much, much better sound. I'm also going to put in the links below some apps you can use for writing. Because writing, you don't absolutely have to do a writing for a film. A lot of times stuff you shoot like this is run and gun. You have an idea, you just shoot things until you get it right. And that's a good way to start and learn how to do some of this stuff. But if you really want to actually have a real story, you can do it in something like a Word or apps like that, but I'll leave a link below. There are things like cell text and things like that that are free, and those are awesome. They can build your script out in something like this and send it to your friends. That way you can make amazing films with whatever's in your pocket and your imagination. And if you like this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe, do all those things that everyone tells you to do every time. We really also want to hear your comments, your feedback, as far as what you like, what you don't like. If you have questions about things, let us know. We'd love to answer those in some of our future films. Also, go ahead and check out some of the other videos we've done where we've created short films, sometimes using, actually, cell phones as part of the stuff. Yes, we have some nice cameras, but sometimes we actually use cell phones where we can't actually get our big cameras into them. Sometimes these just look better and work better for certain shots. So we still use them in some of our short films. So go ahead and check them out. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Well, actually, I guess I won't see you because I can't see you at all this way. You're going to see me. So, yeah, I'm going to end this awkward goodbye and just leave. With nothing more than what you can fit in your pocket and in your skull. That sounded really dumb. With whatever's in your pocket and whatever you can come up with your brain. That also sounded really dumb. Um.